a great practice is to uh, which can will have a strong effect on it, provided you remember to engage in it. <laughs> it will strengthen the frequency of turning on the bulb. And will yes, is to catch these moments when you go to sleep. Uh, the transition, the transition moments when you are even, you know, going on the pillow uh, and when you wake up in the morning, when you come to and when you fall asleep, somehow to uh, fall asleep as you're relaxing and, you know, close your eyes and all that to, to actually be in a state of relaxed noticing of what's happening. To, to kind of because actually and 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 to to notice how to to notice kind of thoughts to notice and to notice the sense of being so be aware of being as and then you fall asleep witnessing basically uh that will be very good and then when you wake up in the morning when the transition is happening and you come to If you can for if you can stay there a little bit before going into thinking or an action, before going into doing or action, to to just stay with it and and, and just notice that the isness before it the isness becomes thinking and doing. You know, to, to stay as this non-conceptual wordless presence stay a little bit so in this way the first thing you do when you come to you are remembering yourself and the last thing you do you're remembering yourself this will create a lot of more reminders uh i wouldn't worry about investigating the dreams that come and all that i would be more like Okay, the dream fades away. I'm waking up. Notice that that thing that that we are talking about. Notice this aware openness. The nothing, aware nothing. Yeah, there's an aware nothing here. Um, stay there a little bit before you are like, okay, shit, I do this and do that. Yeah. Um, so that's a good practice. Now, another good practice related to what you said is more like notice these dreamings when you are driving, when you are brushing your teeth, when you are in the shower, when you are walking in the park, when you are with friends and they are talking to you and you are not listening to them. And you are so observe this phenomena of the imagination that we talked about, the, the unconscious imagination, the dreamings. Notice, and whenever it is unnecessary, which is almost all the time, just the more you, you become conscious of it, then it, it stops. The moment you become conscious of it, it stops and you are back in the present. So keep practicing this. Oh, wow, I'm checked out. Oh, I'm back. Yeah. When I'm back, try to engage your attention in the present. Because the problem is that you are back and then you are taken right away with the next thought because there's not enough attention in the present. So you are you are back and engage the attention so into the present through hearing and seeing and sensing the body. So you are now, instead of being scattered, you are grounded in the now. One step deeper is that I'm aware of being aware. And stay as long as you can. You forget, come back. Yeah? So catch this, uh, the tendency to be lost in what is not real. Bring yourself back to the present and stay as often as you can. Uh, in the fourth way, they had actually practical exercises that we can all work with and little things that we remind ourselves and because we need alarm clocks. Our sleep is so thick, we need alarm clocks often. And then we need to change. Gurdjieff was saying, we need 
those alarm clocks that will work for some time is not going to work after a week because you get used to it and you fall asleep through the alarm clock imagining that you are waking up so you need to change another one you know um yeah some of these exercises some of these things that i'm talking to you now are to be found in my uh, playlist called toolbox of practices uh, the first maybe 10 they are some fourth way inspired exercises to increase frequency of remembrance yeah uh, and if you guys are continuing with me later we can get more uh systematic about it because the problem is we forget we forget about the work and we are becoming like the rest of humanity forgetting about ourselves and about consciousness and we are remembering everything else and so there's this momentum of you know so we need a lot of reminders reminders a lot of reminders for a long time although at some point the situation will change so you, you will be more naturally conscious so you, you, then you, there's a conscious momentum so it's not all the time oh fuck man oh fuck oh. It's, it's not at some point you're know, like it's more uh, you're more there and but it's a continuing continuing deepening and they say these states, there they are degrees, even in the state of sleep. They are deeply asleep, deep, deep, and the, the deep state sleep, then dreaming. And the same in the state of walking zombie, they are different degrees. And in a state of awakefulness, there are different degrees, and so on. So we are fluctuating between this. 